don't stress, I don't stress. Long, nights. long nights, I don't rap, I don't rap. But I knew that I was built for this forever, ever, ever. All my friends. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to integrate or connect your Discord with your Patreon account. And then I'm also going to show you how to install the invite-only scripts for TradingView. The first thing you'll do is go into your profile settings, and that is found over here, and then my profile settings. It will come here to my user profile, and then right here in apps, you'll find the Discord. Make sure you link your Discord with your Patreon so you can get access to the premium sections within our Discord server. The second thing you'll do is give me your username and obviously who you are within the Patreon. So you'll go over here to Trading View, create an account, and then once you gain access to the invite only scripts, this is your Trading View. Um, I always do dark color theme. I've had questions about how to get it that way. You just go over here and then right here is dark color theme. Select that on and off as you can see. Go to chart. And this is what it will look like when you have our scripts up in order. I always do, uh, let me take off the volume. I don't need two volumes, but you'll have volume, um, but you'll have the CJ Crypto Ichimoku Cloud if you're using it for crypto. There is a stock one for stocks. Then you'll have the uh, CJ BSS MACD, um, and then you'll have the last squeeze. You can also add the RSI, which is helpful. This is a default one. We haven't done anything with it. The only thing that we do do, we raise this up to 80 and then drop the line down to 20. And how you do that, you'll, once you've installed or put RSI onto your chart, you can click on the line, you can right click on one of these circles or go over here to the gear and then set it up. And as you can see your upper band, I've changed it to red, lower band is green, and then the RSI line itself is white. And then you change those inputs right there, 80 and 20, and click OK. So what if your screen doesn't look like mine, you have not set up anything, it will look like this. This is how you remove it, this is how you adjust down or up, is these arrows right here that usually pop up, move that down and so on and so on. So this is what your trading view looks like if you're new to it. You'll click up here to indicators, go down to invite only scripts, and then right here, uh, how I do it, I mean, they won't be in order if you go clicking just any of these. I do the CJ Crypto, the Buy Sell MACD, Squeeze Oscillator, and then Public Library, type in RSI. Make sure you pick this one, the Relative Strength Index. You can also star these, the invite only scripts, star those. They show up um, in favorites. And then as you can see right here, so Relative Strength Index. But it will be, for instance, right here when I type in RSI and then add the relative strength index. This is what it looks like right off the bat. It's purple, I don't like that. I, I hover over the line, click it, go over here, or you can right click these, go down to settings that way, however. Change this around to white, to red. You can bold this, make a little, uh, Right there, that's how you change that. The strength of the line, thickness, green. We can make it a little brighter. And then 80 and 20. The reason I do this from the default 70 and 20 is because I want the gap, or, or uh, sorry, 70 and 30, because I want a wider gap, I want better confirmation that these have really peaked out. When you see this, it, it hits here. So it's it's not a fake out as much. When I see it go above the 80, I know we've pretty much hit a high point for a while. And then it's off to the races again whenever the signal shows us. So that's how you set up your trading view with our signals. Again, indicators, and then down here at invite only scripts. If you happen to click on one and it's out of order, um, you can just move here like this. It may look like that. You just go right here hover over it, move it down, and move it down wherever you want to. But I always have my signal here, the chart here, the last squeeze indicator here, 
and then the RSI. We can click off of that. Uh, the background, it really don't matter on the color, it's whatever your preference is. Again, you can go over here, dark color theme, choose on. And then what I want you guys to do, or what I do, I usually take uh, auto save off because anytime I make adjustments, it's going to save to this chart layout and we don't want that. You would just hit save and then rename it. And I name mine Crypto Ichimoku uh, MACD just so I can easily find it. You can see here. When you hit load chart layout, you've got these uh, that pop up stocks, itchy MACD squeeze, crypto EMAs, and a VWAP. Um, I'm not going to teach you guys that right yet. That's primarily for quick day trading and, and whatever the EMAs and VWAP uh, strategies. But this is our buy and sell uh, signal, technical indicators that you'll gain access to by becoming a Patreon member for a premium group. One thing I do want to stress in how we read this. Um, is don't get faked out by every signal. We we hardly ever trade into a cloud unless you're going for risk. You can see right here, the green signal came in. Uh, back here, there has been some fake outs, but primarily this indicator for XLM is working pretty good for us. There's these sideways movement that nothing really was happening. But when you look at it, this view um, right here, could, could have been a fake out. But with our help, you're gonna learn how to weed out the fake outs with these two right here. We stress the teachings on how to use this over and over in our daily chat room. And a lot of us are picking up 10, 20% overnight, sometimes just a couple of days. But these signals will help you get into a position and then the stock will take off on you uh, rather sooner than later. I know a lot of problems in the industry or if you're a beginner trader, you'll get into a position and it may hang out there for a couple days, it may drop on you, you get frustrated, you sell out and then it reverses, or you just may uh, get in at a bad point and uh, just technically don't even know how to read a chart. So this will help you. Uh, we're, we're making great returns. Crypto is so new, now's the time to get in. But anyways, we're teaching how to read your MACDs, how to read the uh, last squeeze, and how to read that Ichimoku cloud. Make sure you find us on Patreon and YouTube uh, and just reach out to us. We're glad to help. So anyways, that's it for this video. That's how to install and link Patreon and then install the TradingView invite-only scripts once you become a Patreon member. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. And as always, thank you and reach out.